Hi, fourth graders, and welcome to the last day of lesson 26. So tomorrow will be our review, and then Friday will be our comprehension check. So today's focus is just really practicing those skills and writing decimals as equivalent fractions, okay? So we're going to be doing pages 545 and 546 together. And then on your own, you will be doing page 548. So we're going to jump right on in. So page 545, Eli collects animal cards. He says that five hundredths of his cards are endangered animal cards. What fraction of his cards are endangered animal cards? So for this one, we have our table, right, to break up our word, or our decimal, sorry. We have ones, then we have decimal, then we have tenths, and then we have hundredths. So Eli is saying that he has zero whole point zero tenths and five hundredths of his cards are endangered. So when we read it, we say he has five hundredths of his cards. So just by the way we're saying it, we're saying five hundredths, right? So zero whole, zero tenths, and five in the hundredths, we read that as zero and five hundredths because we always read the last place value, right? So we have zero, zero and five hundredths, so our fraction would be five hundredths. So that means five one hundredths of his cards are endangered animal cards. Now, what about if we just wanted it in tenths? I want you to tell me what would five hundredths be. Actually, I take that back. I don't want you to do that. So don't listen to Miss Dion right now. <laughs> so five one hundredths of his cards. And if you say it, friends, zero and five hundredths. We're literally saying five hundredths. So it's five out of the one hundred are endangered animal cards, okay? And I just want to turn super quick so we can look at the base 10 blocks to also show this. So, this model also shows 500 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of the 100 are shaded, okay? So again, I know the base 10 gets tricky, especially with drawing it, but just know that it's also meaning that as well, okay? So, let's just say, this is an example, so I just want you to draw a line right here. So, and I want you to write example. So if he said that his cards, that he had point five six zero point five six or zero and fifty six hundredths cards were endangered, right? They were endangered animals. It wouldn't be five one hundredths. It would be fifty six hundredths because if we say it zero and fifty six hundredths we combine the number and whatever the last place value is is what our um place whatever our denominator is sorry so if that was like this say this was our base 10 block we're using that would mean all of this was shaded so 10 20 30 40 50 tenths and then we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths, okay? So it's however many shaded, you can just change it into that. So if we had five tenths, that would be equal to 0 0.5 or zero and five tenths. If we know the five hundredths, we just add the zero, right? Oops, sorry, I did that backwards. I have to squeeze it, zero and five hundredths. See, it's backwards than what you would think it is, because 500, you would think it's this way. But once we get to the right side of that decimal, the place values flip-flop, okay? So that's why the hundredths are smaller than the tenths. So friends, if you have any questions at all, or you want to do any practice together of converting decimals into fractions or vice versa, just please, please, please join me. I'd be happy to work on that with you. If not, you're moving on to page 548 on your own, and then showing me, okay? Happy decimals.